Now that we've worked with percent, we're going to use our percents, um, percent skills in calculating and dealing with interest rates. Okay, interest is money that you either make or pay. Goes both ways. Well, you can earn in earn interest or make money, make interest when you put money into a bank account. And the bank pays you a little tiny bit of money back when you use your money and put it into the bank account to save. You are charged interest when you borrow money. Now you can borrow money from a bank and you could do that for uh, buying a house or a car or if you wanted to borrow money from uh, for some um, renovations the bank will lend you money under certain circumstances you can borrow money from a car company directly they sometimes offer some um, money lending opportunities. You can borrow money from your credit card and you could borrow money from a payday loan organization. Or you could even borrow money from family and they might charge you interest. All of this you will have to pay what you borrow plus a little bit extra and that extra is called the interest. So interest is charged as a percentage and it is always given over a period of time and most often that time is one year. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Um, here we've got an advertisement for uh, the leasing of a Jetta. And if you take a look at all the fine print, and here is the information about payment. Notice here it says 2.49% APR. 2.49% APR. So that means you're gonna be charged 2.49% and the A stands for annual percent rate. So 2.49% per year. And the 60 months means that you're going to be signing up for 60 months to lease that car. But we'll talk a little bit more about that kind of information in future lessons. So another time you're charged interest is when you uh, borrow money to buy a house that's called a mortgage and if you take a look at the special offer here it says get your the home you want for as low as 3.29 percent and that means it's 3.29 percent a year So interest isn't just uh, something that you pay for for mortgages and cars. You can also see it on bills when you don't pay them on time. So here is the statement for the bill fee, fee statement. If you don't pay your bill on time or within 30 days of the bill date, you will be charged a late payment fee. And that late payment fee is 3% a month. So here it's not per year. It's giving actually two values. This is per month, so 3% per month. And I guess if you really late, it works out to be 4.258% per annum is the same as per year. So in the last few examples, it was about um, how much interest is charged to you because you're borrowing money. In this example here, RBC, which is Royal Bank of Canada, is advertising for a 
high interest savings account and the interest rate is 0.900% per year. That's a very low percentage compared to the 3.6 that we were just talking about for, uh, for a mortgage. So interest rates can be paid to you when you put your money into a savings account or you have to pay it when you borrow money.